All right, everybody, Mr. Seward here, and uh, we are going to continue on with our title strip drawing. This is the second part of this thing. So I have now created the uh, spacing for uh, all the text that's going to go into the title strip. That is shown right down here. So I'm going to show you how I am going to set that up. So the first thing is, this is going to be text. So we're going to use those annotative text styles that we just set up. And uh, I just clicked on the word annotation here. And I'm going to go to my text style dialog box. And I'm going to use style number one. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because it says Genesee Community College is going to be style number one. So that's what the reason I'm using that particular text. Now, I'm going to use the uh, multi-line text. You can click the word text and click multi-line, but it defaults to it if you just select it up here on the big letter A. And I'm going to uh, begin uh, at the midpoint of this box. This is a one-inch box, but the middle of it, this is up half an inch, so I'm going to start right there. I'm going to go up to there. And then for my justification, I'm going to put this at top center. So I changed the justification to top center. And I'm going to type in here, Genesee. And by the way, my cap caps lock is on. Spelling is off, though. Going to see community college, and I'm going to hit close text editor, or you can just click outside of here. Now, this came out uh, right on the uh, top line of my title strip. So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to use the move tool. Move is uh, that icon that looks like a cross right there. I'm going to click on the item I want to move, and I'm just going to click straight up uh, at the top. And I have turned on orthogonal mode. Right now I can go in all different directions, but if I press F8, I can only move vertically and horizontally. I can't go at any angle. I'm going to pull straight down, and I want the letters Genesee Community College to be about uh, half half the distance uh, down the, um, be, you know, about spaced evenly. If I were to draw a line across here, I want it spaced evenly uh, top and bottom. So I know that that space is a half an inch. I know that the text is a quarter of an inch. I subtract that from the half inch. I get a quarter of an inch. And I divide that by two. That means I want to move this down one eighth of an inch because it's half. Now, the next line of text down is going to be uh, Batavia, New York, 14020. This is text style two. So now I go back to my annotations. I click here, I get my text style two. And uh, in this instance, I'll start my multi-line text. I will click on that uh, top midpoint right there. And I'll set my justification again to, uh, well, I can try middle center, but I don't think it will work too well. Maybe it will. Uh, I'll, go, I'll go back to top center for right now. Anyways, so I'm gonna put in uh, Batavia. New York, oops, Navy, New York, 14020, and I'll close the text editor. And then the last line of text on this block, I'm going to do the uh, dialog thing again here, and my justification is going to be, uh, well, we'll just go with bottom center this time. We can change it if we want. And uh, this is going to be computer drafting department. And 
and I'll close the editor. So that's text is too low. So of course I can move it. Did I get the right command? Yeah. Just the letter M. Okay, click the base point. And I can just eyeball this one. Right there. That looks pretty good. Might be a little off, but not bad. I think it looks pretty good. All right. So I'm going to continue doing this for the text that doesn't come in in yellow. Uh, this one has yellow on it, but uh, we are going to put in the lab number and same thing down here where it says scale so that you can see that. Um, I will get those things set up. And then we're going to come out uh, when I come back, we're going to add these things in uh, the yellow, uh, yellow highlighted stuff. Okay, so I've got all my text put in except for uh, one, two, three, four things. So I need to now start doing that uh, text work. So that is the stuff that is in yellow here. So the first one is title. That is on style text style three. So I'm going to go to my annotations. I'm going to change to text style three. Uh, now I'm going to also go in here to uh, up here to the word insert, and we're going to define attributes with this. And every attribute has to have a tag. And uh, for this one, the tag is the word title. And I'm going to uh, change its justification here. And I'm going to center justify it. And uh, we have my text style here already. I guess I didn't necessarily have to change it at the beginning, but I could change it here. Rotation is zero, says specify on screen. Uh, let's see, I'll say okay. And now you're gonna see the word title attached to my cursor. And I'm just gonna bring it in here in about the middle. And it moved over on me, so I'll just use the move command. Put it in about the middle of my box. There we go. And now I've got a uh, title in. Next thing I am going to do, I'll go back to my PDF file here, is date. And this one's a little, little different. So date goes right up in here. So I'm going to define an attribute again. And uh, the value here is going to be date. By the way, in these tags, you can't put any spaces. They don't let you do that. But instead of having the word default down here, I'm going to click where it says insert field. And I'm going to go to field category all, and I'm going to scroll down until I find the word date and highlight that. And then I can uh, use any of these date styles. I'm going to use the 1 slash 121 because that's today's date. And I'm going to say OK. And OK again. And I needed to make that a different text style. Date is supposed to be style two. Okay, so whoops. Define attribute. Date. Alt value here. Date in this. Say okay. Now, justification is going to be, we'll make our justification center, and this is style two. And I'll say, okay. Now I'm just gonna click on that. There's a little trick to doing that, I'm sure, not having to move this text, but there we go. And I'll move it up a little bit. Notice I'm clicking away for the base point from the actual text itself. So date. Now, uh, down here is lab number. So I'm going to add this one in too. And this text is style two. So I should just probably, oops, 
I'll hit home here. I'll make sure I'm on style two and I am back to insert and define. And uh, this is going to be just, I'm wondering if I can just put a number sign in here. Let's see. Okay, well, let's, uh, yeah, and left justify, style two, and we'll say okay. We'll left justify it. I'll just put it there. Okay. Now, the uh, next one down is scale. So that's going to be over here in this area. So define attribute. Uh, tag is going to be x to x. I'll uh, left justify this style to, I'll say OK. And I'll just line that one up. And there we go. Now, I'm going to save this file. Okay, file save as. Make sure it's going to the right spot. This is title strip 2021. And I'll hit save. And yes, I did want to overwrite this. I did forget one bit of text, though. That is uh, my name. And I'm going to make that with the same uh, title block or text title uh, as I have here. And what I can do is I can just copy that down. So I'll go from that corner right there, to there. And uh, I'll double click on this. Actually, you know what? I don't even have to do that. I'll undo that. Okay. And instead of doing a regular uh, Black here. I'll just use my text and I will my end text and I'll put it in like this. I'll change my style to style uh, one. My justification to middle center and I'll put in my last name. And close the text editor and it's not quite in the middle it doesn't look like it to me anyway so i'll just move it down all right 